Hello, my name is Robbie Strike, and I make the best coffee in the world. And I'd like today, I'd like to show you how to make coffee using a coffee press. Making your coffee at home will save you lots of money. Instead of going to a coffee shop and spending maybe two dollars, three dollars, even some in some cases more than five dollars for a cup of coffee, I'm going to show you how to save lots of money and make your coffee at home using a coffee press. So you just simply use your kettle to boil the water. If you don't have a kettle, you can also use a pot on the stove. It does the same thing, it heats up the water. A coffee press, sometimes referred to as a French press. I have two of these that I got as gifts. One is the one that my wife gave me for my birthday. I love this one. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Now the reason why I prefer, I actually prefer this one because it's made out of metal, stainless steel. So I can take this thing camping and it has a really good reinforced, keeps the, uh, keeps the coffee hot for, for hours inside this, this metal casing. It's real nice and it has that hollowed in, in, in the center so you don't touch it and burn yourself. And uh, the first one I got was this one. I'm gonna show you how to make a cup of coffee and using this one just because it will show you what, it's transparent and you can see what's going on. The only thing I have against the glass ones is I had a glass one once, before. my first glass one, I made the mistake of putting it in the dishwasher and the dishwasher shattered it. So just be careful when you're washing them, wash them very gently. Some of these glass ones are very, uh, very delicate glass. So I spare no expense buying the no name brand from, have the no name brand from No Frills where I get the stuff. Now, if you, it, as opposed to sugar, I really enjoy I'm putting honey in my coffee. That's something I really uh, am a fan of. And this coffee has turned to the English. Medium roast. I find the medium roast coffee, I find I get the best results from dark roast. Tends to burn out more of the caffeine. Where medium, it roasts just enough to keep some of that good caffeine in the coffee to help uh, to help it for uh, so that you actually get more of a caffeine kick. So that's one of the things to know about coffee is medium roast is usually the better where you're gonna get more caffeine. If you want coffee with less, less caffeine, you wanna go with a darker roast. So, so I'm just gonna pop the lid off this. The first thing you wanna do before you, when you make the coffee, I like to just have an extra cup just to put this mechanism here. What it is, it's a little filter thing here that pushes all the the coffee uh, through and the water through, and it's, these things actually work very surprisingly well. When I first saw this thing, I thought, "Oh, you're going to be having the coffee grounds in your mouth and chewing your coffee." But it actually does a real good job of that, separating that. So I like to just pour a little bit of coffee or a little bit of hot water in first, and then get my coffee, and I just get one of these things here. I don't know exactly the spoonful amount came with one of my old coffee makers. So I just put about that much in. For this case, this video, I'll put a little extra love going in there. All right, you set that in there. There's the coffee. And you just pour the rest of that hot water in there, watch it steam up the house. That beautiful coffee. Set that over there. And this is where you let your coffee steep kind of like tea for a minute, and it actually helps the coffee um, have more time inside of the, it has more time for the water and coffee to melt, melt together. The particles and the liquid of the coffee join together in a wonderful marriage, joining in one unity. So I stir it up, I give it a good little stir, and let that settle down. The reason why I stir it, just to stir the coffee into it, it gets, you know, all the water is getting mixed in with that coffee, and it's spinning there in the bottle, and you just let it spin, do it spin a rooney. The part of this thing, this, this part of the making, the process of making the best coffee in the world is, some people say, well, you, it's a timely thing, you gotta do a lot of work. But I, my argument on that is when you go into a coffee shop to spend fi over $5 for a coffee, you're standing and waiting in line, so that's taking your time as well, and taking your money because you had to spend time to make that $5 or whatever you're spending. You take this, you just let it dangle down, and you just set that there, press it down, you push this down like this, and you just slowly 
press that down and you can kind of see the coffee grow, um, sitting around that and it all gets pressed to the bottom. You can do this fast. I like to do it slow and just, you know, take my time, get all that coffee pressed down to the bottom. Just give it a, you know, just give it its time. Because this is a thing of beauty. This is a work of art. When this touches your taste buds, it is going to blow your taste buds away of the deliciousness of this wonderful coffee. So this is saving, you're already saving money by making your coffee at home here. You just pour that in here. First thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of cocoa to my coffee. So you take the delicious cocoa. You don't take a whole lot. Here, there's a little trick to doing the cocoa here. So see how much I got here on the spoon? You don't want to overwhelm it with cocoa. And you don't want to put everything in all at once because then you're going to have this giant lump of cocoa in your coffee. You don't want that. So what you want to do is just tap it in there. Just tap it in gently. Yeah, just make a little dee 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 dee. There you go. Just tap that in there gently. And what what's happening is the heat from the coffee, because this is boiling hot water, boiling hot coffee, it's going to melt the cocoa. So just gently do it like that. Now, I got my cream honey. I like cream honey. There's a little bit of the cocoa in there. That's okay. I'm using a dirty spoon, but that's fine. I'm going to try to get it off as best as I can. I got a little bit of cocoa in there. That's fine. I'll scrape there. There we go. Got it. So, you take a spoonful of honey. This is hard honey, but this is also hot coffee. And you let it sit there for about a minute, and it just uh, melts all that hard honey. I like hard honey compared to the liquid honey. I'll use the liquid honey if I if I don't have anything around, but this one, it's local too. Like, it's uh, coffee now. As you're stirring it, you're still going to have that lump of honey. It's melting away. You just got to stir that hard. Stir that coffee up hard. We live in the land of milk and honey. The land of milk and honey coffee. So we pour that in there, that delicious cream. This is like 5%, it says it uh, tastes like 10%. And actually, I, I, I think it does. Like I, I, I'd have to say it's pretty close. This is the one that I made my coffee out first thing this morning. And when you pull this out, now you'll see there's not really much of the coffee grounds in it. It's more pressed toward the back of this. So I just take this and I just rinse it off. And then you'll see the coffee inside there with a little bit of water left and the coffee grounds at the bottom. For the residue, I just take it and pour it out here. Water the plants with it. And then you'll still have a little bit of the coffee grounds. So just. Uh, Take a little bit of water and then rinse it out. It breaks down and decomposes, so it's good for the plants in the garden. It gives them a little bit more extra, that extra pep with that coffee. But this here, I give you, is the greatest cup of coffee in the world. You're welcome. So this is how you make it. Enjoy. Share this video with all your friends if they if they're looking for ways to save money this is how you make coffee at home with a coffee press get them a coffee press as a gift and then show them this video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel